Good afternoon, folks, and thanks for joining us. Welcome to Tim with, with to, to kicking it with Tim and the mechanic. I'm Tim Wheaton, joined today by Joseph Lasiri. He is an Italian Muay Thai fighter who has held titles in the WBC, WMF, uh, WMF, and WMO, and now he's coming for one championship gold on May 20th. He'll be fighting for a title against Prajinshai. Joseph, how are you doing today, man? I'm fine, thank you. Hey, that's good to hear. I, I know you're busy training. How's training coming along, sir? Yes, my training is uh, perfect. Uh, I'm training uh, every day twice, twice, in the morning and the afternoon. It's a busy time for you. I'm glad that training's coming along. You recently changed weight classes. Uh, how's the weight cut feeling this time around? Yes, I, I, I fought uh, since uh, one championship opened the, the door in uh, kickboxing and Muay Thai stage in one championship. I was the first in 61 uh, in division. It was a, a, it was a, like two categories more for me because I was fighting 54 for WBC title, and uh, with hydration, people can 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 cut less. But but I always fight. Uh, my opponent was always uh, more bigger than me, and now in the, my division, throw weight, I feel uh, more confidence, and uh, I'm I'm glad to for, uh, for uh, have uh, that, that experience in the flyweight division. No, absolutely. And it seems to have benefited you quite a bit, putting some wins together there. Uh, you said it, it feels like it's given you not only a mental edge, but more power. Can you tell me a little yeah. bit more about that? Yes, it's about, you know, when, when you when you go, when you fight, when you're training for, uh, for fighting the, in the, the bigger division, Mm -hmm. Is a uh, is a mentally sometimes no because you know you go fight uh, with a strong opponent because in one championship you fight only with the champion and uh, in in uh, your weight in your in not in your weight class so uh, mentally is more is more difficult and now after that experience I can feel more I, I feel more better even in the training no. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Feeling better in training, feeling better in the ring. That's going to make a big difference. Now, ahead of you is a is a huge challenge. Uh, you're challenging for a title against Progen Chai. Where do you see maybe holes in his games? Where do you see yourself having an advantage? What's the game plan coming into this fight? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm not thinking uh, about... Uh, I, I, everybody know Progen Chai, but I, I became only for uh, my... I'm focused uh, for the world title. For me, is everything for me. Because I'm training Muay Thai since I was uh, 17 years old, and now I'm 30, uh, and I want, and I want, and I want to make, a, I want to make this, this thing for everything. Just for me, is everything uh, opportunity for a world title, especially, uh, especially when I when I had experience in uh, flyweight division. So I did like nine nine fights in one championship. I lost six fights. For me, it's too much in a stage like one championship. So now the world title, win the world title against this this uh, opponent, for me is everything like, I can like, everything can, everything was before, it would be the late, something like that, you know what I mean? So coming up to uh, 1157 will be the crowning achievement of your career. But before now, what do you see as the most uh, high moment of your career? You have held many titles. I think you've held titles in every organization you fought in. So what do you think of as your best moment in Muay Thai? Yeah, the, 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 title, the title I win before, uh, I, I feel the emotion for the before, no? And, mm. one, day, and one day I can feel that, that, that emotion one day. But now I'm focused only for uh, for this title. For me, for me, I, I'm I'm going 20 May, uh, not thinking about my ex title, but I'm going there like it's my first title shot. Absolutely. But let's say so in this fight, let's say you you walk away with a one championship title. Who do you want next? What do you want next for your career? Is there someone that you have your eye on? Yeah. So if if you tell me the opponent, my. Um, if I, if you ask me the opponent, I, I like to fight against uh, Jonathan Agerty, even if in the more category, high category. Yes, yes. Dude, that is my. If you ask me the opponent, I I, I tell you Jonathan Agerty, even even if he, if he, even if the the category is high. Absolutely, he's a very good striker. It's something in something is something personal. 
T- tell me a little bit. Have you guys met before? Tell me a little bit more about that. Do you, what, what's the deal with Haggerty? Something is something inside me. I want to fight Haggerty. The, the, uh, uh, it's happened. It's happened. Something uh, before that fight uh, make me thinking about a, a lot of my career. Mm-hmm. So I don't care about the weight. I don't care about nothing. Just uh, get in the ring one one more time against him in the stage like one championship. That's uh, if you ask me the next opponent. Man, I would absolutely love to see it. You get the championship and then you fight Jonathan Haggerty wow. next. Yeah. I, that's a good life right yeah. there. Um, right now, the kind of trend is is some people are looking at mixed rules bout, like with Rod Tang and Demetrius Johnson. It, it, would you ever be interested in mixed rules? Or for you, are you kick sport exclusively? Oh, no, no, no. Because um, it's even uh, one championship uh, is, is nice about this, this uh, new experience, no? Mm-hmm. Like uh, do fighting, kickboxing, and uh, M- uh, Muay Thai in the cage with small gloves. What the... Nothing but was good news, no? I think is the the best uh, is 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 the best stage is one championship with this with this new and to see Rontang uh, against uh, Dimitri Johnson with these rules is something. It was curious to see, yeah? and uh, I enjoy the fight. I enjoy the fight. I like everything is possible in the arena. Everything is possible in the arena. Everything is possible in the arena. It's all, everything is available, absolutely. Yeah. And you mentioned the gloves as well. You fought in both. Do you prefer the small gloves or do you prefer the big gloves? Oh, this is a nice question. When I, when I came inside one championship with the small gloves, it was very, especially mentally, it was very hard to, to stay in the, with the, the best fighter with the small gloves. Mm-hmm. No? But now I take confidence even in the, with the small gloves, so I feel very I can I can show I can show more me with the small glove, you know. I, well, I think I think it's treated you quite well because you're like the last win that you got, just absolutely amazing with the small gloves, the knockout that you got in the first round. Like, yeah. d- does it feel different? Like, I assume it hurts your hands more, but you're getting more power out of it. Is that fair yeah, to say? Was, it was a right a right hand for for going side with the left hand, and mm-hmm. uh, the the right hand was uh, like enough, no. Absolutely. But I, put, I put I put the high rhythm rhythm in the, uh, from the first round that I think uh, I win I win mentally against my last opponent. I, I think you're absolutely right about that. I think that's a really good point. And let me ask you about another former opponent of yours, uh, Hiroki Akimoto. You're his only career loss. He has now picked up a title in one championship in kickboxing. Is that uh, a fight that you'd like to go back to? Is he that, an opponent that, you'd like to fight in the future that against? Was, that was a, is a nice experience against Akimoto. No. Is one championship uh, tell me like more than two months before the fight mm-hmm. against Akimoto in the in the biggest uh, event of the of that year in Tokyo, and for me it was uh, absolutely like, and uh, I I was training very hard, very hard, uh, even if the category was more high. Now you see Akimoto fighting the bantamweight division, no, it's two yeah. category high, but. You know, I told you before, in the ring can happen everything. Everything oh, can happen in the ring, and I was, I, I come, I come in, I, I came in Japan in his house, and uh, I take out all my life in, in that three round, and I take, and I take my win, and now Akimoto is the champ, and I respect Akimoto, and uh, he's very good the fighter, he's very good guy, I respect him, and uh, it was nice experience, you know. He, before before he become a champion and now is better no the feeling you always uh, like when you fight I, I always believe when you fight you create your story for your life that, that's a cool philosophy when you fight you create the story of your life what does yeah. that mean to you like what uh, tell me a little bit more that's really interesting because, I like when, that. When, before when you asked me about my uh, ex title shot no mm-hmm. that, that for me is like my my stories for my life for before and uh, for one future one day, no? And uh, I, I beat Akimoto when he didn't was, uh, he, he wasn't, he wasn't world champion. And uh, it was the, it was big feeling beat him in Japan. It was more feeling when he, when he won uh, the Bantaweight world title, no? And, uh, and he helped me a lot uh, for my training camp. 
man. I, I, it's so cool to like. You have so much respect for him. Clearly, not like that Haggerty fella. You're like, man, Akimoto's awesome. Haggerty, oh. <laughs> <laughs> So you have fought all over the world. You fought in the Philippines. You fought in Tokyo. You fought in uh, in England. You fought in Italy. What's your favorite audience that you fought in front of? The favorite audience? Yeah. What was the favorite crowd that you had uh, yeah, it's performed? One championship. One championship. Uh, different uh, of the other event is uh, one championship when you get me the contract. Even mm -hmm. when I lose. They give me the opportunity for fight again. I lose. Give me the opportunity to fight again. For me, this was like, uh, oh, what what do you want to do, Joseph? Uh, be more professional or stay in the other stage? So I take myself. I take my bag. I went in Thailand. I I changed many things in my life. Even in Milan with my team, new team, kick and punch with Angel Valente, and uh, and they take care of me a lot, and uh, and I saw the result. Yep, absolutely. So one, and championship, one championship get me in the. Get me oh yeah, the, get me in the before uh, is always like, do one fight and that's it, but with one championship I start like a new career. Man, it's like yeah, absolutely. You're a one championship fighter. You're waving their flag. I love to see it. And one kind of threw you into the deep end right away. Your debut was against Sam A. Who do you think yeah. is a more stylistically more challenging, Sam A or Prajanjai? No, for me, Same is more dangerous than Prussian Chai. I'm sure about that, even if Same lose against Prussian Chai. I have some respect about that fight that is very good, smart, uh, timing is perfect. Uh, it, 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 for me, is more dangerous than Same of Prussian Chai. Yeah, he, he's an amazing fighter to watch. Uh, let me ask you a couple more questions and then I'll get you out of here. Yeah. So what was the biggest reason? Who are some of your inspirations who inspired you to get into this sport? This inspiration. Like you want to you know about the fight, some fighter? Yeah, like who did you look at and thought, oh, I need to get into Muay Thai? Was there someone that you looked up to? I was a footballer like in Italy, you know? Everyone was, I was playing football uh, since when I was seven years old. Mm -hmm. When I come 15 years old, I start to not to lose the interest, but uh, when I when I when I get in martial arts like Muay Thai, I learn a lot, no, and um, you know dedication when uh, body like the workout of the body, many things change in my mind, and I think that was the the good uh, the good way for my life, and this helped me a lot uh, even in my, even in my life, no. Because I start, I start to work hard uh, uh, from the beginning in uh, in Muay Thai, yeah. and help me, and that discipline helped me to finish my high school, and I feel it, and uh, that that this discipline ma make me feeling better uh, with the people, with my family, with more things. Absolutely. And in, in speaking of starting out in Muay Thai, what advice would you give to others who are starting out in the sport? Sorry, I, I don't understand. Oh, sorry. So uh, speaking of when you started out in the sport, what advice would you now give some of the younger people who are looking to start in Muay Thai? Yeah, uh, not only for Muay Thai, you know, in the sport uh, in general, you know. Um, it's something for me like the... When you find something can can give you emotion, eh? mm -hmm. keep going, keep going in that because the emotion when, when you when you get emotion in your world, eh, I think is uh, that that is everything, you know. For 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 for, for, for be better, for be better. Oh. Absolutely, man. Now, Joseph Lassiri, you have a title fight coming up on May 20th on 1157. I massively appreciate your time. My name is Tim Wheaton with Kicking It. Um, now, you get the last word here. Shout out who you need to shout out. Um, say anything you'd like to the fans, but Joseph, go ahead. You get the last word. Yeah, be ready for 20 May. Uh, Joseph Lassiri is coming for a title shot. Awesome. Appreciate your time so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.